everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith, thank you so much for being here. Today we are getting right into the holidays, talking about my favorite red lipsticks. These are going to be bullet lipsticks, uh, liquid lipsticks, a couple different finishes, so a wide variety of red lipsticks to help you find what your red holiday lip is going to be, or maybe just inform you a little bit more about different types of red lipsticks if you're kind of scared about trying a bold red lip, giving you some options and different ideas might be helpful if you want to try and rock a red lip this holiday season. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if as you watch this video and you like me, you would subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button. It is totally free. And then tap that notification bell as well so that you're notified when I upload a video. You kind of have to do that these days on YouTube or else you're going to miss me. So like I said, I have a bunch of red lipsticks I'm going to go through. I'm going to talk to you all about them. I'll be putting up price points somewhere on the screen so you can kind of see the cost of these. They're not all high-end or all affordable. There's a mix of everything. And of course, we'll talk about the color that's on my lips today as well. Also, I did do a full tutorial on this makeup look, and that is already up on my channel. So if you're interested to see that, definitely check it out. I'll link it in the cards up here and down below in my description bar, along with all the lipsticks that we're going to be talking about today. But let's get right into my favorite red lips for the holiday season. Okay, first we're going to talk about the color that's on my lips. I won't keep you waiting. This is from Gerard Cosmetics and it is the Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Immortal. If you're not familiar with Gerard Cosmetics, one of the most well-known things, one of the things that they're most well-known for is their Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So a liquid lipstick just comes in a tube like this. It's liquidy. It's not in like a tube. And generally, liquid lipsticks are very drying. They're almost always matte. Sometimes they come in a metallic finish or a velvet finish. But most of the time when you're talking about a liquid lipstick, it is matte. And those can be very, very drying on the lips. But the cool thing about the Gerard Cosmetics formula and why it's called Hydra Matte is that they are not super drying at all. So right now I chose to wear this one today because my lips are super dry and crackly, but even though it gives that matte look, it doesn't accentuate the dryness and the dry patches, and it also doesn't dry out my lips even more. So tonight when I take this off, they're not gonna be even more dry than they already were. So that's why I love this formula. It is not as long lasting as some of the other liquid lipsticks that I'm going to talk about. So if you're more interested in longevity and you don't really care about the comfort or hydration, then I'll get to some that'll be even better. I'll get to some that you can literally eat and drink with and it's not gonna come off your lips. This definitely will fade if I'm eating and drinking and things like that. It's gonna stay on a lot longer than a regular traditional bullet lipstick would, but it's not as long lasting as some other liquid lipsticks. So I wanted to mention that, but this is a really, really good option and it's at a pretty good price point as well. Let's just stick with liquid lipsticks and then I'll get into the bullet lipsticks. So the next one I wanna talk about is from Stila and this is their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Tesoro. This one is a little bit more on the orangey red side than the one that I have on right now. The one I have on right now is more of a blue, cool toned red. This one is a little bit more orangey undertoned. I really like this in the summer as well because an orangey toned red lip is really pretty with a tan, but you can also rock this during the holiday season. If you have more of a tan or olive complexion, this might be a little bit more flattering on you than a cool toned lip. Right now I am at my palest, I have no fake tan on, and I find that a blue undertoned, cool toned lipstick just looks a little bit better, so that's why I went with this one. But I wanted to mention this guy for you, the Stila Stay All Day in Tesoro, because it gives you a different undertone option. Also, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick formula in general is definitely a little bit more long-lasting than the Gerard Cosmetics, but it's also not very drying, so I would highly recommend this. It's definitely going to last a little bit longer than the Gerard Cosmetics one. It's not gonna last as long as one I'm going to talk about next, 
but it is really good and it won't dry out your lips too much. It's definitely more drying than the Gerard Cosmetics one, but it's also a little bit more long lasting. So you kind of have like a give and take there if you know what I mean. Okay, let me talk to you about the red liquid lipstick that you can wear eating and drinking and this will not come off. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick and it is in the shade Lady Balls. I've talked about this a ton on my channel. If you are looking for a red lipstick that you can put on your lips and not have to worry about it coming off at all, which I know is probably the reason a lot of you guys maybe don't go for a bold lip or a red lip is just because it's normally more obvious when it fades this is the one for you. Now if you have really really dry lips, this is drying. It totally is drying. Once you remove this, you're definitely going to want to put on a lot of chapstick for the night and let your lips kind of heal. But they're not going to look dry. I don't want you to think like, oh if I put this on my lips are going to shrivel up. They're not going to look dry. It's just that by the end of the day, your lips are going to feel a little bit dry. But if you are looking for something that's going to stay on and you don't care about that, this is the one for you. The shade is also so gorgeous. It's like a true, true red. It has a tiny bit of a blue cool toned undertone to it, but not even as much as the one I'm wearing. It's a little bit more of just a true true red. I wore this to a party. I was at the party probably five, six hours eating, drinking, and I kept looking in the mirror, like checking on it because I was like, I don't want to look crazy with this red lipstick. And I swear every hour I checked, it looked exactly the same. It went nowhere. So I am so impressed with the longevity of this. And if that is what is most important to you, I highly, highly recommend this red lipstick. The formula of this is so nice and the shade is really, really gorgeous and perfect for the holiday season. Okay, I have two red lipsticks from an affordable brand for you. This is IBY Beauty and these are liquid lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks in the shade Ruby. They're definitely the most affordable liquid lipstick I have here, I believe, unless the Gerard Cosmetics one is the same. I'm not sure, but I'll be putting them all up on the screen. This is Ruby, so you can see it's a little bit more of a light red than the Too Faced one. It's just a nice poppy red color. And then I also have the shade Crush. So we'll swatch Crush right next to it so you can kind of see the difference. Crush is slightly more uh, warm toned, orangey toned. So this is Crush, this is Ruby. Ruby is a little bit more pink, Crush is a little bit more orange red. The thing about these liquid lipsticks is, one, they're pretty affordable, two, the colors are gorgeous, and three, they're really comfortable. I would kind of put these in the same league as the Gerard Cosmetics formula, where they're really not going to dry out your lips, but they will transfer just a little bit. They're also a newer brand. They are like gaining traction and steam on Instagram, but I wanted to give them a little bit of a shout out because their liquid lipsticks are really nice and I don't see enough people talking about them. Okay, now the next three lipsticks I have for you are traditional bullet lipsticks. The first is a matte formula, so it's still going to be very long lasting. This is from MAC and this is D for Danger. It's a matte bullet lipstick. So again, it's going to be long lasting. I love the MAC matte formulas because they're also very comfortable, but they're matte right from the get-go. So as soon as you put them on, they're nice and matte. That tends to be the case with bullet lipsticks in a matte formula. There's no like drying needed and they're definitely more comfortable. I love this shade because it's a little bit more on like the berry red side. So it's definitely more of a cool undertone. If you are more of a fan of the traditional bullet lipstick, then this is a great, great option. Very pigmented, ultra pigmented. You really only need a couple swipes of this and you'll be good to go. I have a new shade from Lancome. This is a collaboration with, is it Camila Cabello? I'm not sure, I'll put it down below, but first of all, how cute is this? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it's little lips. It's so cute. And this is the shade uh, 158 Copacabana. And again, this is a matte formula, so it's gonna go on matte right away. The shade on this, as opposed to the MAC one, is definitely more of a true red. I love this shade. I think it's a beautiful, deep red, a little bit on the cool tone, but not as much 
as the MAC one. It's not as berry. It's more of just like a true red. Again, very comfortable feeling. It's not going to dry you out. And if you prefer the more traditional bullet lipstick formula, this is a great option. It's also fun because it's a new release for the holidays. So if you want like a special lip color for this holiday season, that's a really nice one. And the packaging is absolutely adorable. It's a red package and it's like a button thing that you push down and open. So it's just really nice, a really nice, this would make a really nice gift I think as well. And the last lipstick I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. This again is a bullet lipstick formula. Again, beautiful packaging. And this is the shade Red Carpet Red. This is a little bit more on the warm side. Really, really more of a true red. If you can see all three of these, you kind of go from the MAC one, which is more of a berry, to a little bit of a cool tone red, to like a BAM red, like this is red. This is straight red. I really like it. Again, very comfortable. It is a little bit more of a satin finish. I don't know if it says on here, Matt. It doesn't say, um, but it looks a little bit more like glowy. I'm actually going to top it for you guys over top of what I'm wearing now. Oh, it's so pigmented, very comfortable, but you can see it adds a little bit of moisture, like it doesn't look as dry as my lips did before. So those are all of the lipsticks that I wanted to show you guys. I'm in love with red lipstick right now. I think it's just such a perfect Christmassy holiday little touch to your makeup. It's so fun. Aside from summer when I do like a really tan glowy look, sometimes I'll add a pop of red, but for the most part I don't really wear red lipstick except for in December. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments which lipstick, which red lipstick you liked the most and why. Like, do you like the Too Faced one because you think it'll be the most long wearing or do you prefer more of the hydrating formulas? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think. Also, let me know what other holiday related Christmas makeup or shopping videos you'd like to see from me. I am totally in the Christmas spirit right now and ready to film a ton of Christmas type of videos for you guys. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.